What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have an awesome, awesome install from Dio Dynamics. Did you slip off my shifter there? Uh, a lot and a lot and a lot of you for the longest time have complained about my normal halogen headlights on my truck. The people over at Dio Dynamics noticed that too. So today we're going to be installing their SL1 bulbs in my headlights. And that's why I asked you guys that question in yesterday's video because when I install these they're obviously going to be the like the 5000 6000 K white bluish color what am I going to do about my fogs because I always run my fogs should I run cubes should I run just the black housings and get the matching bulbs I don't know so let me know in the comments below but right now uh, I'm actually getting a thumbnail for yesterday's video and we're going to head back and we're going to get this install underway if you didn't see if you didn't see yesterday's video it was from ProClip and uh, yeah mounting solution for this charger incredible because there's nowhere else to put the phone in this car so this just absolutely incredible i cannot 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 wait to get a cold air intake on this car so i i mean yes the people dyno it it adds 20 horsepower and it's like proven whatever i Okay, 727 horsepower, cool, whatever. I'm not really worried about the, the horsepower, I'm more worried about that supercharger whine. I wanna hear that, and when I do that, obviously my fuel mileage will probably go down because I'm gonna wanna hear it more often, but it's all about having fun, right? And in the meantime, while I'm driving back, how about that 2020 wide body charger? Now, which is funny because nobody ever, you know, that's why I picked the charger, not only because it's the fastest sedan, um, but and it's got the four doors but the third reason why is because nobody runs a charger nobody picks the charger over the challenger everyone wants that muscle but now with a wide body option I feel like there's a lot more people gonna pick the charger but to me to be honest I love this car so much especially like the, the there's no blind spot like the the challenger is you're gonna see a lot of people pick up that wide body I can tell you that okay so like I said we have an install from Dio Dynamics their SL1 bulbs as you can hear in my voice not any better than yesterday but we're still cooking guys but here's their SL1 LED bulbs guys and obviously because you guys know Chrysler products the canvas system um, yeah anti flicker modules to go with it if you don't know about the whole chrysler thing electrical system in these trucks is a is a canvas system so as soon as some kind that's how you can you know tell that like oh a headlight's out or like your tail lamp's out or something you get the warning on the dash as soon as you put something with lower resistance in it like leds the computer thinks they're out so they'll either be out or they're flicker or stuff like that so this should cancel that out oh fellow ram owners will know that Changing a simple headlight bulb could be a lot easier on these trucks, but they're not for some reason. Um, we gotta take this grill off, which is four 10 mil bolts, I believe, or 11, one of the two, across the top, and then the grill will pop off. And then, in here, there's this flap. You'll take that down, there's a, there's a, you can't really see because it's too dark, but in there, there's a giant white uh, sliding tab. You're gonna slide it up and it'll unlock the headlight and then the headlight will pop out. So once you get your beautiful custom grill off, there's a 10 mil here, and there's also a 10 mil here. This is what's supposed to adjust your headlights, but what you're really gonna do is, as you can see when you kind of do the, you throw your wrench on the ground, because that's the first step. Um, if you can kind of see, they'll kind of adjust. It's hard to, yeah, whatever. Regardless, just take this thing all the way out. And then when you put it back in, just tighten it all the way down. And then, like I said, in here there's a white tab. Push up on it to release. Okay, so here is your Ram factory headlight. Yes, you got a lot of people ask me. These are just the factory OEM sport black headlights. You can get them at your local dealership. That's where I get them all the time from the parts department. Let me uh let me get a towel so this doesn't scratch. So as you can see, your low beam is on top. What that means is you're gonna twist this 
watertight seal will come off and there is your bulb. As you can see, here's your new bulb and this little small ballast will stay inside your headlight. So, I gotta do to get that off is that. Turn it to the right, light bulb out. Turn it in, this into there, and this whole thing will go in the headlight. Then you take your cap back on. Okay, so actually, I learned real quick that this is not how it goes. Your anti flicker module will also go inside the headlight which is probably easier put in with the light bulb out so now that that's connected we're going to stick the anti-flicker module in and then we're also going to stick this in along with that module and we can lock it down I thought it would plug into here but it doesn't because this harness also sets off your high beams so just the way it's set up that's actually funny because when I was in Florida the biggest compliment I got was like I love your videos because you do your own work. And I met a lot of people who aren't very interested in the glamorous like, oh, I'm gonna drop it off, everything went well, the truck's done. But like, people also like the mess ups, like right there. I could have just completely edited that out and this is gonna be a video where I'm gonna leave it in there where I found out on my own that the anti-flicker module goes inside the headlight as well. I, I, I was gonna put it back together just like that. Just like you'd be doing it at home, you learn as you go. So that honestly means a lot. So <laughs> it's actually just funny that like a mess up like that just came up. So yeah, we're gonna, um, now we're gonna be able to put the headlight back in. So let's go do that. Okay, so this harness back on and reconnect this one. And I'm honestly just gonna set this in here real quick. Before I actually tidy it all up, I'm gonna turn the truck on, make sure the headlight works. Uh, just in case there's any problems, I don't have to take the whole thing apart. I think I could just turn the accessory on. And yeah, just like that, look at that, something is not connected. Okay, so on the uh, thing here, you can see there's a plus and a minus, and I had the things reversed. So we're gonna reverse and plug it in and then test it. Um, you know, obviously red and black, I just had them backwards. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Oh, that is just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's gonna look so good going down the road, guys. That's awesome. Okay, so I wasn't gonna bore you with the side, but I kind of realized that you don't even need to disconnect the headlight. So we're just gonna do this real quick here. Yeah, I'll legitimately plug this in now. Plus and minus. I actually ran it the correct way this time. Done. that took me like 30 seconds all right and both headlights are back in all we gotta do is slap the grill on real quick and I uh, completely forgot to put this back on so Okay, so the install's done, all buttoned up, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait till nighttime now, and then I could, you know, I'm gonna take you guys down the road and show you how well these actually work and how bright they are. I turn them on during the day, and I can see them off the uh, the the brick over there, so I can tell these are bright already. But I can't wait to see them at night. We're gonna wait till the sun goes down, and I'll show you how these actually work. Whew, so, all right, you know what I didn't do last night? I literally was on the highway. I'm like, I'm gonna get some good shots. Uh, the headlights running and I didn't even grab my camera and by the time I got back it was too late to like leave again I don't want to make too much noise uh, with the truck kind of but um yeah So it's definitely next day and this video is gonna have to go up by like eight So um, yeah, I'll show you right now. It's a little bit overcast kind of cloudy I'll show you how, how bright the headlights are and obviously obviously in future videos you guys will see how bright the headlights Are at night and I'm gonna be honest on the highway and stuff last night very bright and you know the white light is so much cleaner than like the halogen yellow. Also, I hit one puddle today, and I just washed the truck yesterday. Like it was perfectly. So if it's gonna rain right now, and I'll power wash the rest of this crap off later, but. Let me see if this actually turns on. So if you look, they're bright. They look awesome. 
It looks so, 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 so much better. Uh, obviously, I gotta get these fogs switched. But you'd be surprised that um, how much the fog lights actually help. And now that the light bar kind of matches, oh, it looks so good. And you know what this means, guys? White, white. Coming very soon. Definitely gonna swap those out for white lights up there. 100%. Probably gonna get these light bulbs coming very soon and possibly the fog light housings. Just get those all set up because I, I really don't, I, I need to run the fogs because this at night, the beam it puts out is very direct and this truck is so big. I, I also need to see like down here and see the curbs. So I really need the fog lights and I need to get them. So I really want to get those super soon because yeah. So guys, that's probably going to do it for today's video. Yes, the just changing the headlights over like that changes the whole look of your truck. And that was the first thing I did on one of my older trucks was to you know change the headlights out it makes everything look current i still need a bulb if somebody could put if you made it this far in the video if someone could put the bulb size for the rear light in this truck that one up there because as you can see i put the the front ones are white i still need to change that one so if you can give me that bulb size just like the exact bulb size that would be awesome so yeah guys once again those are the diode dynamics sl1 leds super easy install super clean and the lights are bright and just awesome awesome in general really gonna get those fog lights probably ordered tonight or whenever uh because i gotta get those installed as well that's for sure if not i will definitely do the cube lights so i'm gonna play around see which see which way is cheaper and go with that because obviously you guys know i am switching out the bumper so those fog lights will be no more anyway thank i'm gonna say thank you guys for watching if you haven't been here before please get on that click subscribe take care and i will see you guys in the next video